So now that I've finished cardio, a little bit of a food shop, meal prep, just sat down, finished my first meal. I am now off to the gym. I have three in-person posing clients today. I also have a little bit more cardio to do because it is a rest day. Firstly, I wanted to welcome you guys back to my channel. It's been a very long time since, since I have actually picked up the camera. So later today, I will do a little bit of an update of where I'm at, but today is a rest day for me. So just busy with posing um, and getting other bits and pieces planned, organized for the rest of the week um but we are currently 14 and a bit weeks out which is very very exciting i have a lot to update you guys on so i promise it'll come first we gotta go to work so <laughs> let me catch you guys up with where i'm at it is it's the 24th of may i'm currently 14 weeks and about five or so days out the first chunk of prep has actually gone really well i have genuinely just been busy with uni and that is the reason why i haven't really picked up the camera for i don't really know how long um but i did have a good chunk of assignments i had like four assignments to hand in over a, a three-week period so realistically vlogging and keeping up to date with youtube was just not a priority but now that that is finished I'm holding myself accountable by saying this. I'm gonna make the effort to get some content out for you guys, keep you more in the loop with what is going on. So what I'll do is give you guys a bit of a rundown of where things are at, at the moment. What I wanted to do with this video basically um, was take you through my rest days. Today's been a rest day. Um, I've been, it's now like half five this morning and earlier this afternoon, I was just with posing clients in person, I'm not training today. So I thought it was a good opportunity to start off this vlog. So we are currently, like I said, 14 and a bit, 15 and a bit weeks out. Basically, it's May, end of May, and the show is in September, which is brilliant. My food currently, I am running five low days a week and two high days. Now those high days are situated, one is on a leg day and the other is on a pull day. This is to basically allow me to go into those sessions and just push a little bit more. Those two sessions are pretty demanding, especially compared to the other two, which is push and upper back and delt, which tend not to fatigue my central nervous system as much um therefore we do not need as much food on those days um it's like a difference of about 40 45 grams of carbs between the low and the high days so nothing crazy but it does definitely help cardio wise cardio is daily 40 minutes and i'm on the cross trainer i'm not on the stairmaster anymore vicky has banned me from the stairmaster and this is to allow my legs to look a little bit fresh these are my most recent check-in pictures and you'll notice that the lines in my quads have already started to come through which is brilliant last year that didn't happen until i was like five weeks out um so yeah basically we're in a much much better place we are a little bit ahead of the game this year which is brilliant um i have just had a four day kind of diet break that finished about a week ago now basically because we could and i was just feeling a bit tired so vicky up my food for four days which is lovely and you know being able to be in that spot where we can just pull back for four days is really really nice and generally just means that i'm not so stressed and i'm not like oh my god i'm not gonna be ready because that's not fun and that kind of stress definitely on me um shows so it's just nice to not have to worry about that so 40 minutes daily cardio and then as of today on a rest day i'm doing an additional 20 minutes so rest day cardio is now one hour all other days is 40 minutes um, and that's where i'm at i'm currently training four days a week i've been training four days a week for a long time now i just find that that works best for me it was originally dropped from five to four quite a while ago um, and that was mainly because of just how busy i busy i I was with uni where I just didn't have the time and I would rather have four very good sessions than have five sessions with a few of them just flagging because I'm not rested enough or I don't have time to actually push myself in those sessions. So, you know, it's just working with what I can do rather than always trying to push for more when something's unrealistic. Apart from that though, everything is is going really well it's going really well and what i plan to do on thursday is take you guys through a full day of eating on a rest day which is exciting to show you guys what i'm eating currently on a rest day i am um eating to a meal plan i'm not macro tracking i do not want to track macros anymore i've been tracking macros for way too long it's boring i don't want to sit on my fitness pal every day i do not enjoy that 
so Vicky does that for me and I just I just eat what I'm told and it really is that simple but in terms of carbohydrate sources because I know someone will ask carbohydrate sources fruit frozen fruit potatoes rice cakes and cream of rice that is it they digest well with me. We do not throw anything in my diet that doesn't work for me. Fats, sunflower butter, eggs, 5% beef, nut butter. That's it. There's no dark chocolate anymore. <laughs> Protein wise, chicken, eggs, whey, beef mints. That's it. It's very simple. But realistically, based off last year and how much my food focus was reduced through eating off a meal plan, I just wanted things to roll the same. And when I get those high days thrown in there, it literally just is more of this more of that you know it's not complicated i'm not getting oh here's a squares bar one day randomly it's not like that it's just more of the same stuff which works for me so that is currently where we're at shows wise uk dfba the goal for me this year is to win that british title i was very close last year and realistically i only brought 70 percent ali um i was not in condition uh my body stopped responding about four weeks out from finals it was not ideal and that's why we are pushing ahead earlier on in this prep so that we're not having to push later on this prep it just fills me with so much joy we've already kind of um reaped the rewards of that by me being able to have a diet break already it's my 21st birthday next week and i'm actually going to be able to have an off-plan meal because i'm not behind with fat loss which is amazing so yay i get to eat sushi um <laughs> It's been, it's been a while since I've had, obviously, an off plan or a refeed or anything like that, other than the diet break, so that'll be nice. But generally, we're just pushing on, making sure that we have plenty of time, and according to Vicky, we are most likely going to be feeding pretty well, slash reversing into the first show and taking it from there. But just very happy with, their, with where everything is at the moment. My weight is currently um, 122 pounds. Um, I did drop into the 121s like two days ago and then I had a leg session and my weight is always like a pound up from there. But what I will do is I will leave my most recent check-in somewhere on this side. I I try not to look too much at my physique genuinely on prep, but I'm very happy with with where we're at for 15 weeks out. Um, puts us in a nice spot, and I just really want to this year make sure that I'm in condition because last year I did not bring the condition that I wanted to. Um, there were many reasons for this, but we've kind of rectified that already by having a productive off season, not getting sloppy. We're just kind of enjoying that. I will catch up with you guys it's currently tuesday so um i will most likely pick up the camera again on thursday and take you through a full day of eating i also have a sports massage on thursday with lee who is absolutely amazing at what she does um, and she is going to sort out my lower body because i haven't had work done on my lower body for potentially about four months she will be mad at me for saying that but yeah um so very very excited um to to get that done and genuinely just a bit of an update you would have seen this logo a fair amount if you follow my instagram i've just been busy with posing um i had three posing clients compete over the weekend taking home trophies which is what you know this is all about it's making sure that people can present their physique properly on stage um, and genuinely just some really good feedback from judges about my posing clients posing for me that's the best reward busy bee at the moment but it keeps your mind busy which means you can't think about being hungry and i'm still fat so i can't be hungry that's how it works please don't take that literally i know i'm not fat but i still have body fat to lose therefore i cannot be hungry that's what i think of it um but i will catch up with you guys on thursday but i just wanted to say welcome back to my channel and yeah let's fucking get it 2022 prep let's go morning 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 it is now thursday it's thursday morning and i'm about to go and check in because i'm on two check-ins a week at the moment just to keep everything ticking along but like i said um just before today is a, another rest day so i'm gonna take you through a full day of eating but before i do any eating i've got to get this check-in done and then i have 40 minutes of cardio to do which since earlier in the week has become a little bit harder because i'm a little bit lighter and a little bit more tired than i was 
towards the start of the week. So my sleep isn't isn't great right now. It's not awful, but we kind of got to that point in prep where I'm basically, I dropped to that weight, which for me is just under 55 kilos where I suddenly start to feel it. That's where we're at currently, nothing horrific. But what I am gonna do is just set you guys down in the corner, go through my check-in. I'm still doing both two rows and UK DFBA slash PCA style quarter turns. So that's why I'm gonna do two rounds of posing before anyone asks. I'll see you guys through. So maybe not something that you guys particularly care about, but the way in which I set my phone up, I set it up literally right in front of the window so that I get full natural lighting. I mean, it's quite good because the window kind of comes around and I put my phone, general rule is about kind of hip height or just below, so down there on the table. So it's not drastically looking upwards at me and it's not looking downwards at me. This is just basically trying to mirror what's happening on stage, so. And just to give you an understanding <laughs> of my midsection at the moment. Yeah. It's all coming together very nicely. So that is cardio all done. Shower is getting more and more effort. You know, people, okay, so back end of prep. For me, one of the things I hate doing is showering. That's not saying that I don't, but the amount of energy it takes to peel your leggings off, get in the shower, freeze after you've gotten out of the shower, um, and then get changed again. I'm just, I'm not about that. So I am about to make myself a coffee. I prepped my first meal of the day, which is three rashers of turkey bacon, whatever you want to call it, turkey rashers, two eggs and a hundred grams of strawberries. I got that sorted last night. So I'm just gonna get myself a coffee um, and head out. I have one in-person session to teach uh, of posing. I then need to come home, get my check-ins done before I have my legs fixed by Lee, which I'm super, super pleased about. So coffee, head to the gym, quick little bit of posing, which I may or may not show you, just depending on how much I'm rushing. And then yeah, we will get on from the day. We will blah, 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 blah. We will get on with the day. Eggs and turkey bacon, strawberries. And also, they match my nails, which I absolutely love at the moment, by the way. Amazing. Right. So you jump into that top pose. Okay, so I want you to just take those feet ever so slightly wider. Okay, and to pose those quads, what we don't want to do is sit too much into the knees. We want to rotate the knees outwards and around okay. rather than having soft knees. Because when we're there and we're straighter, we get that quad sweep. We want that sweep to be as visible as possible. Good. And we're nice and wide across here. Fabulous. Good. Just relax through the wrists a little bit. We don't need to be kind of up. We want those hands to be nice and long. Good. Slight rotation. Good. I don't want you to rotate that much. So the hips start coming and opening forwards. Okay. Much better. And then. The wall. It's going to throw your arms off slightly. Lock this out, pull this up. Good. There. Okay. 
Okay, so all back from posing, I am here with Lee, who has just come to the flat, which is amazing, means I don't have to travel, um, lazy me. Uh, we are gonna do a little bit of work on my lower body, I think. My erectors are rather tight today, so I may see if we can do a little bit um, on my back as well. Um, but what I thought I'd do is uh, let Lee talk a little bit more when we get into things, just about what she's actually doing, um, especially to my legs, um, in order to bring out a little bit more detail and genuinely just kind of <laughs> go in on my legs because I haven't had work done in ages. So, um, yeah. So our plan for this session was to basically work on Ali's lower body and see how it responds. Um, Ali is currently on prep for a show, but we're in a great position because we've got lots of time left so we can see how her lower body responds in relation to whether she retains water after treatment, whether she drains, whether her weight goes up or down and all those sorts of things which is so important when working with um, athletes in the run up to a show because I can then see how I can help them with definition, bringing out certain lines, angles, um, as the shows get closer. So um, we know that Ali has a really tight lower back and she's got a really developed back as well, which I think from her dance background and with all her posing, she holds herself so well, this area can get quite contracted. So in the beginning of the session, I just kind of worked over this area, um, had a play with the muscles to see how they were feeling, warmed them up, and just try to loosen them off a little bit really. I had a feel of where some of her hip flexors were and how they were feeling. And from that point onwards, I just kind of um, see where the body takes me in regards to knots, trigger points, um, when an area of the body feels contracted, um, if one area of the body, it will often point to another part, so I kind of move to the area I'm needed in. But I had a, 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 a loose plan in my head as to what I was gonna do, and I knew that her posterior chain needed some um, relaxing and releasing, basically. I worked over her calves, as we know the calves are connected up to the hamstrings. So by working over those, first of all, it was like, I was hopeful it would mean I could be go less deep on her hamstrings. So I worked up her hamstrings, her IT band was incredibly tight. And again, this is linked in with her hip flexors. So I worked over this area on both sides. Um, again, I, want, I wanted to do some work in the piriformis area, which is very tight on Ali. And I know that if we can release this, this will um, help her in the gym with her squatting movements, her hip hinge movements, and also her posing as well. It will give her a greater range of um, movement as she's in her front pose. So we worked in that area and then of course we needed to work on the quads which if anyone has had a quad massage they know that it it can be quite uncomfortable at times but Ali's an absolute trooper and her quads were extremely tight um I didn't do as much as I would have liked to but again I had done a lot of work on her posterior chain and I didn't want to kind of overload the body and cause it too much trauma where she would definitely blow up and hold water the next day. So we did some quad work and to finish off the session, I kind of just um, used the massage gun to do some nice fascia release and just calm the body down a bit as I had worked quite deeply in some areas. Um, but after this session, hopefully Ali was feeling a lot looser, um, especially through the hip and lower back area. And I think in a few weeks we'll go back and we will have to kind of go over the quads again and see if we can make improvements in the hip flexor area by um, doing this. So yeah, really excited to see the improvements that, um, we can make. 
So we just finished up. <laughs> I'm currently dying. Okay, wow. So <laughs> massage done. I've just finished off my check-ins. It is now like nearly two o'clock. I'm only just having my second meal of the day. I'm a little bit kind of behind on things. I needed <laughs> about half an hour just to pull myself together after that massage because my legs were very bad and now they are a lot better. So my second meal of the day is a pretty small meal. There are no carbs in it. I've got um, tinna tuna, some green beans and then some sunflower butter. Now sunflower butter is a really really nice um, fat source especially if you like savoury things. Um, originally it was supposed to be like coconut oil but I'm not a fan of like oils. I think it's a bit of a weird texture. So I'm, I've just got that together. I'm just gonna eat that now. And then I'm off to do um, my second lot of cardio, which is just 20 minutes and get some steps in. Try and just um, walk off my legs because they are very sore. Um, but they do feel a lot better than they did before. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this meal in and then um, get my stuff organized for the weekend um, before three um online posing clients so i am home for the rest of the day okay so that is cardio round two done um now before before i sit down for four online posing sessions this evening um i'm gonna make my third meal which is a prep favorite oats whey peanut butter and a single caramel rice cake which is very very exciting not um but i just got to that point in prep where i don't know if anyone else gets like this probably only the bikini girls out there but when cardio gets brought in twice a day you just feel like all you're doing is sweating and showering just like constantly it's like the third shower of the day yeah don't know if anyone can actually relate to that but i feel like all i do is get in the shower now so i'm just gonna make this meal have 20 minutes to myself um and then it is time to pose um in between a few of these clients i've got I just got to pack up my stuff i will be heading to croydon because we have some filming to do i will be filming my push session on friday which is tomorrow so i'm very excited for that i really just wanted to make sure that this prep i was bringing content out regularly and outsourcing getting someone else to do that for me is the best way to do it because I'm busy and I don't want to be stressing about getting content out when I could just be focusing on the process and enjoying it. Current way of choice is the effective effective way I slept. Now I actually think this digests for me a little bit better than perform but it is very similar to perform so if you like perform if the texture you like in oats in anything else like that then this is a good good kind of option as well they have some really cool flavors they've got like a, a biscoff caramel biscuit flavor which is very good but it's never fucking in stock um but again you can get something strong so yes it smells very good this is the chocolate and i've also got the vanilla being a bit basic and um, back with vanilla but i quite like a vanilla shake just on its own it's quite nice That might look like I was mixing furiously. There's nothing worse than lumpy oats. There we go. Peanut butter of choice. Very good. And it has to be, has to be crunchy. Otherwise I'm not interested. Pink salt. Oh, for f I just threw most of that on the side. Yeah, standard me. Not even surprised. Yes, I'm gonna make sure that I get that last bit off because calories. That's just the exact kind of thing that I do. Woo woo! So that is two out of four um, posing sessions done. I did actually make my Oh, crumbs, 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 crumbs. I did actually make my fourth meal a little bit earlier, so I didn't have to rush. So I got like a 10 minute break, so I'm gonna eat real quick. But this is the best meal of the day. Um, I've got potatoes, chicken, feta cheese, and 100 grams of green beans. Green, 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 green beans are the ultimate prep food. What the meal looks like. I made it earlier, um, I stuck my potatoes in the air fryer. I'm gonna add a shit ton of ketchup and salt to this and enjoy.
So this is the current situation. Yay, yeah, get some food in there. <laughs> And that is me all done for the day. It is, it's now half past seven. Um, I've just gotten off my laptop. I have made my final meal. Um, I'm not about to eat it just yet, but I've got the classic, which is yogurt, whey, and 100 grams of blueberries. And that is everything for a rest day in terms of food. Um, I've obviously had my normal subs today and I will be having Neuro PM before I sleep because I'm a sleepy gal and I need all the fucking sleep I can get right now. But I hope that was an interesting insight into what I do on a rest day. It's mainly being sat on my laptop doing cardio and making food. But yeah, thank you so much um, for tuning back in and I am very excited to give you some more regular and frequent content. Um, do not forget to like, um, like this video subscribe if you're new to my channel and please feel free to drop a comment um if you are interested in seeing anything in particular on my channel then just drop it in the comment section um but other than that i will catch you in the next one